Hello everyone, welcome to the Global Mindset University. Today, we'll be doing some math on integers. What we're going to be learning about today is positive and negative numbers. Before we get started, my name is Ashina Rashid, and as I said, we're going to be learning some sixth grade math. So, let's get started. Here's the first question. Jake used integers to record his costs and earnings from selling homemade muffins. He spent one he spent $16 on ingredients and he earned $125 from selling the muffins. How does Jake record his costs and earnings? Choose the integers below to complete the statement. So right here it says that Jake used integers to record his costs and earnings from selling homemade muffins. He spent $16 on ingredients. He earned $125 from selling the muffins. How does Jake record his costs and, and earnings? Choose the integers to complete the statement. So right here, the, the integers we can pick is negative 16 and positive 16, and over here, negative 125 and 125. Let's write this down. So first, we know that Jake used integers, he used integers. So we're not gonna be using fractions because fractions are not integers. He spent 16 on ingredients, so we're gonna highlight that. 16 on ingredients, and he earned 125 from selling the muffins. So we're going to be writing a tape diagram to show this. So the whole, we don't know the whole because, so we don't know the whole yet. And we're going to split this like right like this. This is the $16 that he spent. $16 he spent. So that would make a negative impact on his overall total. So he spent $16. And then he earned $125. Dollars that is earned. So that's how much he earned, 125. So this is going to make a negative impact, so negative 16, because we're taking away. And this is going to make a positive impact, or a positive 125. OK. So Jake wrote down 16 negative 16 for the money he spent on ingredients and positive or just 125 for the money he earned selling the muffins and that was correct so let's move on what do negative 11 and 5 tenths and negative 9 and 5 tenths compare choose the correct symbol okay so how do these two numbers compare we're gonna make a tape we're gonna make a number line right here And then this is negative 20, negative 20. And then this is just zero. So right here would be negative 10. So negative one and 15 would be like right here. So we're gonna make a point right there. And then negative nine, and five tenths would be around here. I'm gonna make a point right there. Now, which one is closest to zero? So like, if it's closer to zero, if, if the number is closer to zero, then that means it's the biggest. Which of these two numbers do you think is closest to zero? Yes, if you said nine and five tenths was closer to zero, then you are absolutely correct. So here, 
11 and negative 11 and 5 tenths is less than negative 9 and 5 tenths. How do the absolute value of negative 11 and 5 tenths and the absolute value of negative 9 and 5 tenths compare? Choose the correct symbol. Now remember, absolute value always has those two lines, and it means how far or how close is it away to, how far is it away from zero? Like, the absolute of, the absolute value of this would be just 11.5. The absolute value for this would be 9.5. And then for here would be 9.5. So which one is bigger, 11.5 or 9.5? Yes, if you said 11.5 is bigger, then you are correct. So let's go ahead and put that down. Good job, guys. There are live underwater cameras all over the world. People can watch sea life in real time from thousands of miles away. The table lists the location of four underwater cameras relative to sea level. Which camera is the highest? Which camera do you think is the highest? I think negative five and one half of a foot is the highest. So let's go ahead and pick that. So it's the turtle camera. Which camera is the farthest from the surface of the water? I think the fish camera is farthest from the surface. Methanol is a chemical compound used in rocket fuel. Methanol is in liquid form if its temperature is between negative 93.9 Celsius and 64.96 Celsius. At what temperatures will methanol be in liquid form? Choose all the correct answers. So it has to be between 93.9 Celsius and 64.96 Celsius. So it has to be b in between that. It can't be higher than that and it also can be lower than that. So let's go ahead and cross out the ones that we think is wrong. I know this is definitely wrong. I think this is correct, so we're going to highlight it. Zero Celsius is correct, so we're going to highlight it too. Put a circle around it. 25 Celsius is also correct. I don't think 67 Celsius is correct because the max is 64 this is 67 67 is is bigger than 64 so we're gonna cross that out and the same thing for 89 celsius it is too big so let's go ahead and pick this one this one and this one now we will order the temperatures from coldest to warmest so coldest means the coldest one here is 43 and then 37, 17 negative, 17 Fahrenheit. And then it would be 37.3 Fahrenheit, 51.8, and then 52 Fahrenheit. Okay, how do the values compare? Remember, now let's go ahead and simplify this. The absolute value for this is just 2 and 1 fourth. For this, it would be one and one fourth. And then for this, it would be one and three fourths. Okay, now let's use this so that we can do it. So this, it was two and one fourth, so it's gonna stay. So this is the lowest. This is still kind of low. 
And the next would be this. And then this is go right there. That one goes right there. And then that one goes there as the highest. Good job, guys. We're almost done. Good job, guys. We got 100% on on doing the quiz. Wow, isn't that amazing? Yes. So, that's all we have for today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell to get more videos. Bye! We'll see you on the next episode!